Do you think you get judged more for being a porn star or a Trump supporter? That's a good question. That is a phenomenal question. There you go, Mike. Good Thank question. And Mike, seriously, that's probably that that takes the cake right there. And I, I, I can't say that I know for sure, but what I will say is I certainly feel the wrath of the left and or any anti Trumper more so today than I do about being a porn star. It's like that got set to the back. Now now let's just hate her because she actually supports the president of the United States. And that I, I'll take that. I'll take that. Grab, grab a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, kick my feet up, and start you know smashing trolls. That's totally cool. <laughs> What's the oddest oddest fan interaction you've had? Um, I mean, there's got to be so. I mean, I can. I'm only, like, I gotta pick one. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> there's got to be something that's just. I can. I can't even imagine how creepy it can, it can get. You know what? It's it's funny because there's a lot of people that think things like Exotica or the AVNs or the X Biz conventions where all the fans come out and hang out with us i get those all the time where guys like oh aren't they creepy and they're smelly and they're all over you i don't know if i'm lucky um but i think i I think i am i'm lucky my fan base is incredible thank you they are they're so respectful they they come up to me sometimes the conversations like you said but i'm prepared for it i jack off you so often and they're looking you in the face that's when you know you go oh Okay, you know, I kind of figured that, but now that now that it's out there, you know, um, but they're not. I don't consider that creepy. They're just expressing their sexuality, and they're amongst adult stars. Where if there's ever a place to feel safe and like you can talk about anything, to me, that's it. So I don't, I don't really get creep creeped out or have any issue. Would, would I think you, oh, good. The 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 oddest one, honestly, was I was at the airport with one of my little ones, mm-hmm. and <laughs> I could tell that this pilot knew who I was. Totally fine, you know, a little nod, a little wink. I'm like, cool. I'm with my kid. That's not the time mm-hmm. to come up. And you would think you wouldn't think you had to tell people this, but you know. Right. So he comes over to me with a little folded up note, and I'm thinking, the hell? My kid's looking at me like. Well, actually, she said, is that a fan? I'm like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Again, she's cool. She's very cool. She mm-hmm. gets it. And I'm like, I, I don't know, babe. I'll-, I'll read that later. I open it up a couple minutes later. I'm looking to the right. I read it. And he says, I'm a really big fan. Could I get a signature and a photo? It literally was a little like passing notes in fourth grade <laughs> kind of note. And this man was older than me. I mean, he had to be in his early 50s. I'm like, come on, man. I'm counting on you to be a gentleman. Really? <laughs> That and you guys think, oh, that's not that weird, but to me, it, it was strange. Was. It was a little bizarre. Are there any? So you know, I used to do a thing on the old show where I would go through different categories on tube galore and say the ones that would freak me out the most. Are there any of these things like look? And it, if any, if, if everything's legal, everyone's of age. God bless you. Go for it. Is there anything where you look at these things, some of these porn worlds, and you're like, that is really fucked up. I mean, there's some stuff in there. Like I've seen catheter porn. I mean, this <laughs> oh, stuff. That, oh, oh, I mean, it's ouch. just, it's just, it's just, I, I, I the human mind. Is so like look, you do a scene, you're obviously fantastic looking. You get some somebody with you as well. I prefer more. I'm I, I get protective of you. I don't like what's on the penis in there, Brandy. I'm not I'm, <laughs> I get I do. I'm gonna say it. I'll say it. I get upset. So if you're doing your lesbian scenes, I'm on board. Um, you know, but it, you know, the this these scenes with these weird like I, I can't the human mind is so interesting to me that people can get off on some of this really weird stuff. I don't know, like like nine months pregnant. It's just the, 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 I don't know, it's a strange world. Well, you know, it's it's one of those things that sexuality literally is like snowflakes. True. No two people's sexuality is going to be the same. True. Now, I'm in the adult industry. I hear and see a lot. And I've, I, I've always been teased. And I tease myself about being a vanilla porn star. I, I, my sexu- I love sex. I, I love the female form. I enjoy the excitement of what I do. But, I, I mean, I don't do, like, I know, sorry, everybody, but I don't do the 20-person gangbangs. I've never done an anal scene. There's things that, you know, and I you've seen on Twitter, if, you, if you've happened to see, Randy, why don't you do anal? I have, you gotta, you gotta, I'm yeah. waiting for you to do it first, dickhead. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that is that is that is the That is the ultimate, but I, following Brandy, that is the ultimate. For some reason, Brandy, it's very important for people, for you to get a penis in your ass for some reason. I'm not sure why I, these people you know, need this in their life. I mean, I but don't know. You know, there's only what ten thousand women who've done it before, but they won't. They want to see my butt destroyed. I'm not interested. <laughs> what um? 
So what's so what's the game? Do you have do you have a do you have an like an end game in mind? Do you have an out date? Or are you just gonna keep doing this? Or are you thinking five years, ten years, two years? Or are you just you just enjoying the moment? Well, you know, I truly am enjoying the moment. It's taken fifteen years to get into this. I, I call it a groove where I'm working with the companies I've I've always wanted to work with. I'm working with the top talent in the industry. I'm having such a blast, and it's you know, but it, it does get harder for me because I do want to grow old gracefully. I'm, I'm taking care of myself. I have my regimen. I, you know, I, I do what I can to keep myself looking as young as I feel on the inside. But when you work in 4K, there are pictures I see and I go, oh, hell no. You know, and I start thinking to myself, what's the end game? But I also love how being in the industry does keep me young. It, it, it's that every day, you know what I mean? Right. It's, it's kind of like what I think married people and or people in a serious relationship should feel about themselves every day. Wake up and look and be the best you can look and be. You know how many people you know they've been married five years and they've gained 30 pounds, she cut all her hair off, doesn't wear makeup anymore, he doesn't bring her flowers. Mm -hmm. When you work in this industry, people think it's nuts, not saying it's for everybody, but we always are striving to look our best for one another and for what we do. So it's a win-win. Can I, can I just say? I'm afraid oh, if I retire, the, I might just fall apart. Oh come on! <laughs> <laughs> can I just say, by the way, I think I thought Howard Stern was a total asshole to you all those years ago. Oh my god! And I thought he was as nice as I've ever heard him. He could have ripped me. They were apart. saying, well, maybe it was Fred. I remember watching it, and they were saying that, that you were a butterface and all that. It's ridiculous, really? insulting. Oh yeah, yes. yeah, outrageous. Face. Yeah, yeah but, come on. But for but for Howard, come on, that's true. That's nothing. He could have. He didn't. I was waiting for him to rip apart my body. He did. He made fun of my hair, which, when I look back at the video, it is pretty funny. I mean, that is a long time ago. Hairstyles have right. changed. Um, I can laugh about that. The the butterface, you know, whatever. I'm not everybody's cup of tea. That's cool. Was that your it, Was that your intro into that? Like, wh- when did you start? When did you go from whatever you were doing to this? That Howard Stern, I believe, was 2004, right. and that's the same year that BrandyLove.com was born. So that was, I I was very persistent. I knew that Howard, kind of like you guys, have an incredible audience and impact. Um, and I just knew that, my God, if something's going to work and put us on the map of an industry full of people, it'd be it would be Howard. And I just literally, I know you're going to laugh, but it was snail mail back then. I sent a letter every single Tuesday, every single Tuesday without fail. And it took literally three weeks and I got a phone call from Gary and I, you know, I'm driving down the street and he's like, Hey, this is Gary from the Howard Stern show. I pulled over. I was shaking. I'm like, this is a joke. No, it wasn't. I was out there in New York a week and a half later. And then, oh, go ahead, Mike. Um, I was curious. You were talking about equal rights earlier and, Mm -hmm. uh, I noticed my people aren't really represented in porn a lot. Oh, you want and blind I, people I, in porn? I was curious if you thought there might be a storyline between you and, say, like a young, a young blind guy with a lot of spunk. Like maybe you're his, uh, you're you're his aide, but you realize, oh, you know, that's there, a, there's something there. Yeah, it's almost know? like it's almost like a like a porn version of the Miracle Worker. Sure, where, something like yeah, that. where yeah. you were you're like sort of like the yeah, you're his blind instructor. That that could work. No, there's, there's a spark between you. And yeah, you know, what? I think that's an awesome storyline. But you know, blind Mike, do you know anybody with those characteristics? I mean, I, I if you needed someone, I could I could uh, okay yeah. okay. <laughs> I'd watch that. I would watch that movie. Actually, that is kind of hot. Yes, yeah, that's, right. That's not it's not a bad scene. I'll, yeah, I mean, you must I'll get production started. <laughs> How involved are you in the? Do you have any involvement whatsoever in the storylines? You ever pitch and you ever see a girl that you like? For example, and be like, "Ooh, I want to work with her." Here's a storyline, or you just kind of get sent the thing by the producer and go do it. Oftentimes, it's it's sent to me. There are many companies that I've shot with for so many years, and they know me so well that there won't be a script. They'll say, "Brandy, this is your character. Go for it." We, you know, I we know you're good at impromptu, and those tend to be better scenes because they're more natural. You know, you're not trying to remember lines. But the the scenes that I've actually been a part of the writing. Are my sweetheart videos? Um, I've done three features with them: Brandy loves girls, Brandy loves milfs, and Brandy loves girls too. Those, all three of those, and there's a fourth one, by the way, coming out in September. Stay mm-hmm. tuned. Good. Um, I wrote with the director. He and I wrote every single scene, and it's so it was so much fun. The fans, with my help, what I mean by that is I put out the names of all the women I wanted to shoot with, mm-hmm. and the fans voted. And Sweetheart Vids actually took the time to take in all the 
tallies and I shot this next feature coming out in September um, showcase. It's all women that I want to shoot with. So it's really, really amazing. Ooh, I'm in. I will be watching. I am in. Anything else? <laughs> I'll have you- to call back to see what you think about Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Promote away. Anything, anything else you want to promote? <clears throat> well, mo- this, when we were talking about content that you can produce, right? Yep. With things being ripped off in the Napster of porn and all these types mm-hmm. of things. One of my favorite things to do is spending time on my private Snapchat, which you can get to Snap Brandy, S-N-A-P, Brandy with an I. And that is daily content that's live. You can't rip it off. It's definitely me. I have one-on-one interactions with everybody. So everybody out there who knows what Snapchat is understands it's like the most raw, amateur, authentic content because you're shooting it right now from me to my phone to you. Um, well, give so us give us uh, an example of something we might see there to uh, to titillate the, uh, to y- the audience. Well, the other day, well, it was last week, my husband drove me to the airport and we were getting frisky and I shot the whole hand job to finish on the way to the airport. And then I sat there and I ch- chatted with them, <laughs> with my fans I mean, that were on, on the Snapchat. So That's a good example. Y- you know, we, we go hiking in the woods all the time. Things happen. You know, hiking makes everybody randy, doesn't it? I think so. Yes, always <laughs> yeah, has for me. Yeah, yeah sure. All right, yes. me too. So things like that, winding down at night, and... um, set the phone up, have sex. It's, we have a good time. And when I'm out in L.A., like I'll be out in L.A. August 1st of 15th, mm-hmm. I'm always shooting BTS, getting my, my um, the talent that I'm working with that day to do interviews, to get naked, have makeout sessions. Those types of things are all on my private snap. Jeez. And, and uh, what, anything else you get? Promote away. This is your shot here. Anything else you want to promote well, you, or no? Absolutely. You guys know. Well, you guys know, but if you guys, anybody out there who doesn't, my Instagram and my um, Twitter are mm-hmm. Brandy underscore love. Mm-hmm. My, uh, my, uh, you can always, uh, how, if you guys don't have my flashlight, I'm going to be very upset with you because that's the most, intimate way for us to have okay, sex so, while I'm so, not in the so room. I have to I have to, I, I, <laughs> I have to I have to say the fleshlight talk me into it because I'm a little it makes me nervous because I feel like I'm gonna I don't know it feels, it feels like after you, one use you can't really yeah that, like it's, expo- I'm, I'm I believe me I'll, I'll get it in two seconds if you if you can if you assure me it is just just sort of walk me through it well there's a reason it is the number one masturbatory toy on the market and always, and has been since it came out it was such an intense I waited for 10 years really I'd been offered many other toys and I, I wouldn't do it because I wanted a flashlight okay it is the best it and trust me one use now nah, you'll have it for years the thing is amazing I sat in a chair legs spread being molded for an hour when I they literally paste this I don't know what it is some goo kind of felt good but they put it all over you and you sit there and you let it I don't know settle sure they they peel it off and that it, it is so authentic every every wrinkle crinkle line you name it it's there it's identical to me and the best part is we spent a lot of time putting the sleeve together which is I helped pick the texture on the inside. So when you when you slide your dick in there, first of all, put lots of lube. Makes it even better. Done. Okay. Play with play with the outside because you got to warm me up. You oh. know, don't just stick it in there. So continue. Warm me up. Put the lube on, and on the back of the flashlight is a little knob. You twist it, which you decide the suction. You can make it simp- like smoother, so it's nice a slow, steady stroke. Stroke, mm-hmm. or you tighten it, and it it's like there's a suction. Yeah. See Jeez. now you're now you're getting ready. I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't you why don't you give the audience a weird way what they want? Why don't you do that for your bud as well? And then 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 you're all set. I already did. You did. <laughs> you can you can get the you can get the two pack. You get both parts. Smart. And Jesus, you know, you're people smart. People on Twitter like, you get so stupid, you don't do anal. I'm like, but I do. Just get my <laughs> flashlight and you can beat the shit out of my asshole. It's totally fine. <laughs> and I'll still be smiling in the morning. Uh, Very nice of you. Well, this is perp. This was great. This is everything I wanted. This is fantastic. Uh, this is uh, it's such a pleasure. It's been a few years in the making, hasn't it? Yeah, well, yeah. So, Brandy, we got you know. I think it was last year we we're going to have you on my old show in Boston and the radio station. I think no. I think I swear to God, year it's before been two years. You might be right. You might be right. And the fucking program director was like, oh. You know, she's a porn. And my argument was exactly that. I'm like, well, she's. That's the point, buddy. Right. I'm like, she's a, a fans. I know, you know, we got reaction like crazy. Guys love her. All we have is guys who listen. B, you're basically telling a woman who is clear of mind, no drugs, no alcohol. She just wants to make a living. 
you're shaming her like fuck you like and she's proud of herself like why wouldn't we want to talk about that you know I, I, it, it was interesting i could tell you were so pissed off oh. i think i think you and i chatted that morning it yes. was like nine in the morning i was ready to go and i'm i'm like something's not right because the car was supposed to be here right and and then i got this call from you guys and i'm like oh my god oh, i was so pissed I knew that wasn't going to go over well with with you. I was pissed. I was not, not at you guys, obviously. Yeah, no. I understood what was happening, but those are the very reasons, Kirk, that I do what I do. It's a perfectly legal business. It brings nothing but pleasure to people. I love it. My family life is amazing. I, I don't understand what people's issue is. Whether you know whether they were raised that it's dirty and bad, and then they go jerk off in the corner. Of course, it, it just seems like yeah, it's such a it's such a hypocrisy. Well, it's the weirdest thing. Like everybody, ma- I mean, essentially everybody masturbates, but yet of still, course. still, there's this weird stigma around it. It's like it's like we all like you ever you have a desire, you have a release, you clean up, you're done. Like what? Like what? The what am I missing? What the fuck am I missing? If you figure it out, will you please tell me? Yes, I, I will. Can't figure it yes, out I will. Either. Yes, I will. We, we will do a scene where I'm the professor and I teach you about it. How was that? <laughs> oh, yes. There you go. I, I'm usually the teacher. I know that's fun true. To be the student. Yeah, sure. in my mind, in my scenario, you're never like yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You have to be the teacher. That's true. We'll do that. That and your blind, <laughs> your your famous blind series of blind Mike. Everyone's going to be that looking is forward. A really, to that'd be great. A really hot scene. Yes. I'm going to work on that one, Mike. Thank you. Bro. All right. So whenever you're in town, obviously come on by, uh, and we'll talk to you very soon. I hope. I'd love that. Thank you guys. All right, so Brandy. Much. Thanks have a so much. Day. We'll talk Take to you. Care. Thanks again. Bye. Right, bye-bye.